Hello again, and thank you for watching. Last video, you might recall that we went back in the time machine and we revisited how we started our reselling journey. We touched a little bit on what we sold, why we sold it, uh, some different uh, um, avenues that we looked at or different models and that. And I think we ended it at, um, we were gonna dive into and look at some of examples of what we were listing, how we were listing them, I um, think it would be a good idea to compare those later on to what we're doing today. Certainly not saying what we're doing today is the end all and be all, um, but it's certainly a lot better as you will see. Uh, we'll also go over or take a tour of our inventory system. We are kind of a hybrid, if you will. It is a bin system. But uh, the bins are on shelves. They are uh, they are alphabetically, alphanumerically uh, numbered. Uh, there are packages inside. Does help us is is this is a three level home. Um, this level being the upper level. This room being our office, and you can see the shipping station. Um, it's also um, where we do uh, where I do all of our back end business stuff all the way downstairs two flights of stairs um, we have what we call the studio and that is where we receive our our product um, it's where we process our product where it's photographed and listed by my wife Lori um, and then it's a uh, um, categories you know a, a skew is applied to it and it is then put it placed into our inventory system um, so that it can be picked when it's sold at least that's the idea right so back then we were working only with eBay um, and it was myself and my wife um, we did in, uh, enlist our one of our boys Nicholas and uh, he helped us later on he helped us uh, listing with eBay as we then began cross posting but I'm getting way ahead of myself so let's let's get into this um, let me go ahead and start the timer. I don't want to go too much over. I already, already occupied a lot of your time in the introduction. Let's go ahead and dive into this. So this is the very first spreadsheet ever created for tracking the inventory. And um, these were in just some, some bin systems. We didn't have a whole lot. You can see this is where we would record, you know, just kind of a brief uh, description of what the item was. We assigned it a skew. This is the bin. So it's A000 followed by the item or package. Uh, a lot of these were not in bins, but uh, they were categorized or skewed just the same. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, if this would be the selling price. Um, I know we have the gross sale. We would go back later and change that if it was different. Uh, we have the, uh, the shipping cost, what our assumed shipping cost would be, cost of the item, calculate the profit, um, and then uh, you know, specify which platform it was listed on. Later on, we began listing on uh, Macari and Poshmark. So that would be, that's where we recorded each individual um, item. So then if we were to look at the next spreadsheet, um, excuse me, let me find it. Where did it go? Where did it go? I don't have it. Well, this is a little embarrassing. Let's go ahead and pull that up. We'll do it. Okay, sorry about that. So what we did was we would have um, using Google Drive have a folder called inventory and then we would have subfolders within that that would be associated with each bin that we had um, downstairs in, in our system. Uh, so pulling up the first bin A000, then had a number of subfolders. The, these would be the packages within that bin. Uh, so 
Uh, if we went to, oh, let's pull up this one. In this folder, we then stored all of the pictures for the item. This was my wife's Harley Davidson leather coat pulled out of the closet, one of the first things that we listed. Um, and then we would also put in here a, uh, a document with what we proposed our description would be. Um, as you can see, this would be copy and pasted. Um, this would be in the description portion of eBay. This would be the title, pretty sparse. Um, I'm sorry, we would also include this into the description as well. Um, all of that would be the description and that would be the title. Sorry, I had to back up and redo that. Um, so then platform, indicate what platform we intended it to be on. Um, again, this, so this is kind of a title. Uh, the brand just says Drand here. And the condition, um, you get it. These would be in any notes if... if just for later, um, I guess, later reference. So that would be our description. We don't have this on in our system anymore. I can't show you the listing. It did sell, surprisingly, a Harley Davidson leather jacket, authentic, sold relatively fast. So anyway, so that's, that's an example. We then have, oops. That was silly. Sorry for the, um, there, uh, again, another Harley Davidson. This is again, my wife's from my wife's collection. Um, it's obviously a leather vest. And uh, again, the description example of the description, not how I would recommend doing our descriptions. Our descriptions have definitely changed um, our titles, um, again, uh, there's, there's more to them than just that. Um, pretty uh, naive way of doing it. Um, it's the way we were. We've learned something, a thing or two since then. So, excuse me a moment. Let me shut that. All right. So that is bin AA. Let's go back to our spreadsheet. And uh, so we then would just keep continue adding to our inventory. Um, we did go through a phase where we were selling uh, jewelry. Uh, didn't work well for us. We then went into a, um, a phase where we sold health and beauty. You can see the items that we sold. Again, didn't work well for us. Shipping became problematic as well. Um, discussed that in the last video. We then got into clothing. Some of these items were pulled out of my wife's uh, closet. Um, you can see those items. So that's when we began our clothing niche. We, we left these other items. We continued to uh, uh, leave them in inventory. Um, we have since narrowed down or niched down to strictly clothing. Anyway, again, so here's another another page with um, some more health and beauty. If we were to go to our AA, we would go to the A004, pull up a, um, yeah. So anyway, I think you kind of get the idea there. Let's go to go ahead and go over here to this is when we really began um, selling clothing. A lot of we, we did begin uh, clothing selling. We did bulk buys. We did um, wholesale, and we would go to clearance aisles and 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 the like, and tried to sell that. Um, we ran into, uh, as I'm sure anybody does, we were learning what styles would sell. So we didn't always make the, the smartest purchases. Uh, they didn't yield a whole lot of profit for us. But uh, um, again, you learn as you go. Let's go ahead and do I have, there we go. 
So again, same same story. If for instance I go into here, we'll see the packages that are contained within bin N503. And so then this would be the pictures that were taken. Um, and then the again, this would be pretty sparse description, which may be why we had trouble selling it. So Why can't I get that to close? All right. All right, well, that, sh not sure how much more we want to go into. Um, pretty much the tour, again, I said, this, this method does suit us as we are distributed. What I mean by that is we have since grown out of the lower level um, it, all four walls are lined with shelves uh, with with boxes within those maybe one day we'll take a tour of that um, but it is still um, it is still boxes with these uh, with these bin numbers alphanumeric bin numbers and we still uh, the packages within are still uh, given SKUs with this Item descriptions are still, um, you know, still contain the uh, dis the SKU in the description. Um, some platforms, as you might know, they don't have a place specifically for the SKU. So when an item sells, trying to identify that, uh, it's easier if you can just look at the description and you can see the SKU and, and we know where that is. So based on the bin, Based on the bin, we know where in the house that bin is located, um, where those shelves are. We do not stack our bins. That, as you, as 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 I'm sure, it, as you can imagine, unstacking and restacking um, that gets pretty old pretty quickly. So we do have shelves. As I said, the bins are on the shelves. We can go right to that bin. We can pull the package fairly quickly. Um, sometimes, yes, they are at the bottom of the bin. Uh, so we do have to, to dig, but um, again, going through maybe 15 to 25 items isn't, isn't too bad. Um, again, I'm gonna revisit the, the bin. So like all the 503s, I know all of those are downstairs and I know that they are on the east wall. So we can go down there and identify or, or locate that bin relatively quickly. Um, and then we go on up, up, up the, uh, the sequence and we're up to, um, goodness, where are we? We're into the 900 series. And I know that the, the 900 series um, are in the garage. And so we, can, we know that we can go there and get those. We've also started uh, putting dresses and suit coats and the like, rather than folding those, putting those in a bin and uh, chancing or risking that they become creased or wrinkled or whatnot. We hang those, we have dry cleaning bags that we put over those and we do have uh, some racks throughout the house. There's one over here uh, to my left, uh, there's a rack. There's a couple racks downstairs in the basement. Um, then also using the closet here in this room to my right. Um, I don't know whether it's right or left. Anyway, it's my right. I don't know what it looks like a, the way you're viewing. But uh, in this closet, there are also um, uh, some clothing with, again, with the bags on there. Well, let me go back to our agenda and make sure I've covered everything. I have a tendency to, to go off track and I want to make sure we covered everything. Yes, we did. We, uh, we did go over our bin system. We went over the packages within. We looked at some photos and some item descriptions. That is how we were doing things. It was through, through these folder systems. Uh, we've since transition to Vendu and all our inventories in Vendu, but essentially the same bin package SKU system is in, in use today. Item listings um, have 
improved considerably as well as pictures that just comes with time and practice as you know we're again are we there yet heck no man we've we've got a ways to go um there are so much to learn in this business and um you know we're just we're just barely scratching it um shameless plugs I do another series, uh, it's called Know Your Numbers. In that, we go over our weekly sales. Um, I think we, rather than going over every single thing that's sold, which isn't a whole lot these days, um, I'll go over some more interesting ones. Maybe those that were a higher profit and those were a lower profit. Um, I'd like to go into those and maybe examine those that are the lower profits, compare those to the higher profits, and okay, well, what could we have improved on titles? I welcome suggestions if anybody wants to comment. Anything that maybe they saw in the titles that where we could improve, I know there's improvements. Um, the other thing is that kind of gives you an idea of what it is we sold, how much we sold it for, and how long it sat in our shelves, and, and then we can perhaps um, examine why or, or come guess, maybe hypothesize why something sat on our shelf. Um, so that's what we do there. Uh, so know your numbers, uh, definitely uh, encourage you to check that out. Again, my name is Rich um, and I certainly thank you for your time and hope I see you again.